Huh. So here's that sharp stereo that I got earlier. It's nice and uh, in pieces here. Um, I was able to replace the belts in the tape deck. That's all that was wrong with it. One of them had the uh, secondary belt, is what I call it, underneath here, all in goo. Actually, it was this side, but it doesn't matter. So I pried off, well, took off the cap stand, which is right here, and I said screw it with the whole tar mess thing. I have donors right there, so as you can see, I pried the flat, took the flywheel off of one of them, and just put it on here, and bang, done. I had to take this little wheel off and clean it because it was gunk with tar. I tried replacing it with one of those right there, but the pin, the hole for the the pole, or whatever, was a different size. So I'm like, great. So I got to douse this one in rubbing alcohol and clean it, and I did. So that's all set, and the tape deck should work. As for the CD player, uh, I cannot find out how to get underneath in there for that motor and that wheel right there for the belt because the big belt was in pieces and there it is and I can't figure it out this motor is the for the tray part oh actually no it's not it's for that part oh no that's a different wheel my bad yeah so that wheel is for the tray for that motor and then that motor is for the carousel here and it's probably stuck on disc three because it, nothing can move. But um, finally took it out of that. However, it kind of fell apart as I took the last screw out and I kind of didn't focus on how it was together. So if I can't get that back together, I'm just going to leave that part out, say screw it to the CD player, put the rest of it back together and you won't really notice anything except a gaping hole right here in the front. <laughs> Other than that, I'm going to put this thing together and see how well the tape player plays. And I notice there's a little trim pot right there hooked to the motor. So I'm assuming that's speed adjustment, even though the motor itself has a speed adjustment. Anyway, I will be right back. So I got it back together, and I still have a problem. First off, somewhere on here, I know that this one, this cord goes from wherever it goes in here to the front and apparently that's for the screen because I can't say shit and two I got it on tape mode but um, we have a problem even though you see everything spinning right yeah the spool is not spinning again still But the caps in and pin controller are so I don't know what the hell is going on it's not stuck so now I gotta take the friggin mechanism back out again and figure that out unbelievable <sighs> then I gotta somehow put that back in that and he put it back in this anyway because I can't see anything on the screen that's bullcrap how the screen is controlled from somewhere over here. What a bunch of crap. <laughs> Alright, again later.